Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Fear the Walking Dead. I'm really interested to see, I kind of hope we focus on somebody we haven't focused on in a little while. You know what I mean? I feel like we have a couple of characters that we haven't uh, spent too much time with recently, and I would really like to. Um, you know, I'll be kind of down for whatever, but uh, if I'm hoping for something, that's going to be it. All right. Let's get into it. Another one? No, this is not just any butterfly. This is the morning cloak. Uh, All you've got to do is find one. Oh, boy. What the senior cops called initiation. Hmm. It was... Think to ask you to assist me while he's gone? Not spook the kid with your old war stories? Look, this isn't hazy, Ali. It's about how you see the world. You need to change your attitude. Uh, you My goodness. They all began as caterpillars. You see, they started as one thing, it became something else. That's what Victor did. That's how he survived. You started off as some random guy in a tower, and now you're a douchebag. I just like, isn't that nice? Transformation, it's wonderful. Oh no, don't fly away, butterfly! This is how I prove my work. Gotcha. Gotcha. Who the hell are you? Take your mask off! Oh, yeah, I mean, I thought it was her. You're lucky this didn't break. Okay. You we weren't back when we said. Huh? Hi, Charlie. Do you know each other? Oh my God. It'll be okay, kid. Just stay calm. Okay. I'm not mad at it. All right, Charlie. Victor is out ensuring the safety of this tower. He's asked me to do the same in his absence. He couldn't have picked a better guy. Be a part of this. This. A chance at a normal life. And every single day since then, it's just been one fight after another fight, after another fight, after another fight. To be fair, if you don't want a lot of fights, it, it does seem like the tower is prepping for war. So I don't know if yeah. it's the best location. I know options oh. are limited. First thing, what happens? First Victor. Did you find what we asked for? There are too many of them. I'd do anything for this place. What did you send him for? An ant? Keep moving. A flea. I would want you in the holding room as soon as possible. I'm not telling you anything. Okay. Why not? It doesn't sound like Strange trusts you. And you just do whatever he says. He wouldn't understand. What the hell was that? Garcia promised he'd do anything he could to protect this place. If he couldn't do it while he was alive, then... He probably just didn't want to suffer anymore. I thought this place was safe. It is. And how did that happen? It just isn't... there. I'm a scout. Our elevators haven't worked since we were attacked. Victor wants them fixed. At least it wasn't scouting yeah, for... What if I can get them for you? Will rare you rare spider. <laughs> it's too dangerous. You really think you could do this? Would I get to live in the tower? It's Victor's call. She wants to live here. That very well might be true, but we need to consider the possibility it might not be. To be fair, that is She's smart. Dead. It's what separates the caterpillars from the butterflies. Oh boy. This is what rangers do. Be a butterfly and fly off a building into a sea of So why is Strand got you out collecting butterflies? I have always wanted to play a game. Play a game? What? Oh. There you go. Must have just been passing through. I used to live nearby. Come here on the weekends. We had a couple robberies. Is it gonna go straight into the gutter? Yep. There you go! Woo! <laughs> You gotta put some spin on it. Uh-oh. 
middle area. Do we have some center? Yeah. That's where sparks flying with some bowling. We're really doing all this just so you can live in the tower? Yeah, that and I want to help you become a ranger. Or spy on the tower. You help me. Well, I wouldn't be getting this chance if it wasn't for you. Hands up. Oh! Hello. You want to tell us why he keeps sending people to the pit? What's the pit? Don't play dumb. I'm not. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not even a ranger. What about your friend? Move. <laughs> oh! Jeez. So Strand is sending people to the pit. They're just... Oh boy. Oh boy. They're all getting eaten. All of them. Just, there you go. I get, okay. Just to solve that problem. Plus, the readings were clean. You shouldn't have gotten close to them. I was careful. I didn't tell you the truth. About what? About why I came to the tower. Morgan sent me. Well, to do what? I'm supposed to turn off the beacon on the roof tonight. When Strand finds out about this? He won't! Of course he will! Because I'm not gonna go through with it! Yeah? I'm serious. A life like I was supposed to have? Okay. I still want that. Shh. Uh, yes. I did. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. Ali, what are you doing? Sending a towel. Ali! Wow. Ali, please don't Well, okay. Ali, I have thoughts. Oh my goodness. Obeying from Morgan, away from Strand. We, we don't have to get stuck in the middle. Oh my god. Ali, please don't do this. Young love, am I right? Goodness. I left him. Why? Because I couldn't handle it. You said you didn't want to run away alone. You don't have to. Oh boy. What about Strand and Howard? I'm not afraid of them. Are you? Okay. Okay. Sir. Sir. Okay. 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 Charlie, if you're gonna run off with him, at least leave like a note for Morgan or something so he doesn't worry sick of like, oh, you probably died horribly. I don't. Yeah, Charlie, please. Charlie. What the fuck? What's wrong with her? She was exposed to radiation. She should make the most of it. I'm so sorry, Ali. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Why is Charlie here? What did Morgan send her here to do? Morgan didn't send her. Okay. I don't know that he believes you. This is why we have to do everything to protect what we built here and not let our personal feelings cloud our judgment. Wow. Why did you bring him back here after what we discussed? Can I trust you, uh... Young love. Please. Will you come with me? Happy birthday, Charlie. Oh. Strand. When he finds out, he's so cared. Okay, you're right. Okay. Something this beautiful deserves to live. I wasn't there for someone when they needed me before. 
going to be there this time. Well, you might not make it much longer yourself, given, okay. Uh-huh. I mean, it is, it's cute. It's cute. I admit, it's cute. But I admit, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm supposed to turn off that light. I need to find a way to tell him what's going on. Okay. I'll do it. If you get caught or whatever, you're gonna fly off the roof like a butterfly. Except you're not gonna fly, you're just gonna you're gonna splat. This is why you sent her. Oh boy. See, see. It's the only way. Okay, at least fight. Look! Don't do it, please! Uh can do it. I'm sorry. That's horrible! No. No. He says no. Toby! He might just... What is it? He... They're coming for you next. You killed him! You killed him! I suggest you back off unless you want to join him. You're a monster! No! He attacked me! He's right, Joe. What side are you on here, John? You mean your son? Because he would be ashamed if he saw this. Oh! If today proved anything, it's that we need to protect this place. If lay one hand on her, I will kill you myself. Anything happens to me, you're gonna have to answer to Victor. He needs me. More than he needs you. Oh! You tell him! Someone in this tower gets sick. Fine. But I suggest you tread carefully. Mm hmm. Walk away. Who's a caterpillar now, bitch? Jesus. I had to say it, Jonah. Because you believe it? Because I need him to believe I do. Yeah, yeah. Why? No matter how much time you have left, you will live to see Strand go down. I will do everything I can to make sure that happens. Oh. Thank you. Goodness me. What an episode. Seriously. Like, okay. Okay. I have so many thoughts. First of all, my request at the beginning of the video that it would be about a character that we don't focus on. You know, I talked about this at the end of the last reaction that I feel like we have some characters and I don't know, I feel like Fear is is kind of one of those shows that like to introduce new characters and sometimes I just wish that they would focus on the ones that they, they have um, introduced and, and maybe not have, have focused on in a little bit. Uh, most of them anyway, I, I, I like seeing. Um, and, you know, Charlie wasn't what I was expecting, but the, it, 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 I liked um, that that's the direction that the episode went in. And, man, do I have a lot, do I have a lot to say? Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. In general, I am not a fan of the very uh, quick love story. Whenever it happens in shows that I watch, it's it's a little, to me at least, and everybody's different. Everybody falls for people differently, so I'm not trying to say that it's not possibly realistic to some of you, but for me personally, I, it's a lot of the times it's a little eye rolly of like, I just met you, but now I, let's run off together. And it's like, you've known them for a day. Um, it's just not practical. Maybe I'm just more of a practical person to me. I'm just saying. Now, I didn't, you know, as much as my gut reaction when she said, you know, uh, uh, I lied to you. And I was really going to the tower to do this thing for Morgan, which I'm not surprised. I really was like, I, I for some reason don't think Charlie would just like go and want to live in this tower just to live in this tower. But she has, I guess she had a decent story of like, she's never really felt secure. And like, that. I mean, it, it, 
did she had kind of a, a decent story to come in with and to, to try to convince people with. Um, but you know, I, I, as when Howard was like, well, she's probably here for another reason. And you know, in my, I'm not really wanting Howard to succeed in much, but you know, I was like, he's got a point, you know, it makes sense that she would be kind of a spy or whatever. Okay. But when she was just like, God, that this is the real reason, but I don't want to lie to you anyway. I was like, my gut reaction was like, oh God, I was like, you just met this guy. However, however, I'm gonna put a little, little asterisk to this. I'm gonna say, it doesn't bother me as much, particularly when it's young love. When it's two people, who have probably not really felt this way about anybody before, you get swept up in the emotions. And I, as much as there was for sure a part of me that was like, Charlie, you just met this guy. You don't know, like if you could trust him. It's easier for me to kind of um, stomach or deal with or whatever when you see two young people kind of fall head over heels for each other. And it seems just more realistic to me in the sense of like, cause when you're young and you kind of feel that way about somebody, maybe for the first time or whatever, it kind of feels like the rest of the world doesn't matter, right? I mean, and as, as naive as it could be or whatever, and I'm, I'm sure they, they genuinely liked each other and everything, but it's just, you know, there's this, uh, you could kind of almost see this maybe not being super aware of the situation they just cared about being with each other and you know wanting to run off or just having the the, the butterfly room it was very sweet and just us matters and the rest of the world I'm not worried about, you know, which again, it's not entirely practical. You know, the, the way that this guy kept saying, like, I'm not worried about Strand. I'm like, you're not worried about Strand. I, you know, maybe Victor Strand is not the most, um, well, maybe he is in some ways, but he's maybe not the most, uh, foreboding or intimidating villain, maybe, you know, what, but, but you're not worried about Strand, sweetheart. <laughs> the man has killed people for a lot. That, okay, anyway, but <laughs> to be fair, it's possible he doesn't know too much about what Strand has done. You know, whatever. I feel like Charlie should have some perspective. I just, okay, anyway, just, you know, Okay. But it, you know, it was interesting and easier to sort of take all of that in when it's kind of presented as just young love and, you know, they're young. You know, they wanted to shut out the world because the world has been really difficult for them. So I actually think they did that in a fairly authentic way. Um, I had a feeling as soon as he was like, I'll take care of it and shut off the the light or whatever, I had a feeling he was, uh, he wasn't gonna make it. I, I was like, this is not, this is absolutely not going to go well and he was going to fly off, as many people do. All right, things that, uh, other things that I want to mention, um, I, uh, let me tell you, as much as Howard is absolutely a douchebag and like the worst in a lot of ways yeah, the actor's doing such a brilliant job he is so good I'm sorry I really like his character and okay I don't like his character but I like his character you guys know what I mean like he's awful but I there's something very weaselly about him there's something really interesting about the fact that he's just like you know he has such faith in Strand and I think Strand just gave him some sort of uh, importance in his life, Howard. I mean, you know, like it gave him some sort of feeling of being important. And you know what June did? She just snatched that away. She said, uh, no, sir, he needs me more than he needs you. Woo! I loved it. I loved it. She's like, it's cute that you think you're important. It's really cute. 
we we all find it hilarious but uh so i kind of like that she she kind of shut him down with that in order to protect charlie and um uh and everything uh i have i had a feeling if this battle if this war is happening if this whatever is going on i have a feeling that i always felt like june and and john and and even grace being there and um you know, Wendell, or they were going to be kind of keys to winning a battle or, or something of that sort, you know, because I think no matter what, their allegiances are going to lie probably with the others more so than Strand. So, um, you know, and I thought it was really smart when, when John was kind of trying to, st to, uh, stick to what Howard was saying and everything because I think that it, it's probably a smart strategy if you're going to be in this tower and you're almost definitely going to try to help the other side you have to blend in as best as you can and you know it's possible Howard's not going to buy it it's very possible that Strand's never going to buy it I mean Strand does a lot of things but I don't think he's stupid you know so I uh, it might not be the most effective strategy, but it could be something. It could be something. Um, anyway, uh, I, you know, I, I found this episode uh, entertaining. It went uh, real left <laughs> with the... Ooh. I mean, as soon as... I, I'm not kidding. As soon as he said, don't worry, I'll handle it. I was like, oh, God, no, he's going to fly off the building. <laughs> like, what a horrific thing for Charlie to see, too. Just, and then splat. I mean, oh, God. And stuff like that is really not going to get people on your side. You know? Not that I don't, I don't think that that was Howard's goal by any means. But I just, you know... Fuck. Yeah. Really interesting episode. And I'm I am pretty happy that we're focusing on on the you know someone that I feel like we haven't has been in the background a bit with Charlie. So so I appreciated that. And you know, I do always find it fairly interesting to see more the, like the younger people in the apocalypse as much as Charlie uh, herself made some decisions that had to make her grow up real fast and, and, and do some not great things. You, you know what I mean. But I, I, she's really had to grow up. That I think sometimes even us as viewers, it, it, it's hard to, uh, we have to remind ourselves. Like, uh, she, she is still just a kid. We should probably, she is still just a kid. That's right. Anyway, I, uh... Yeah, I really, um, I enjoyed it. I thought it it was interesting. <laughs> there were moments, I won't lie, there were moments that the young love was a little like, okay. But, uh, but it, you know, it kind of makes sense. It's a thing. All right. Uh, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I really appreciate it. If not, I'm just happy that you were here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.